In this video, we are going to discuss the question number 2 in the practical test. Let's start. In the question 2, okay, you are required to carry out an experiment to identify the cations and the anions in presence in the R5 solution. R5 will be given is unknown salt. So normally unknown salt will be put into a small packet. So instruction here, measure 25 cubic centimeter of distilled water and pour into a beaker. Then add solid R5 into the beaker and stir until it is dissolved. So after that, use the R5 solutions for the following chemical test. So chemical test 1 is identify the cations and chemical test 2 is to identify the anions. You need to record all the observations for the experiments in the table provided. Then state the inferences for all the observations. For chemical test 1, it is for cations inside the R5 solution. So instruction A, put a little bit R5 solution into a test tube and then add sodium hydroxide solution until in excess. So let's say after you have done the experiment, so you found that if you add in a little bit sodium hydroxide solution, it will form the white precipitate. So your observation you write down is white precipitate form and then in the excess sodium hydroxide solution it is dissolved then you can write down soluble in excess sodium hydroxide solution so you have two observation here so what is the inference? So you can write down the inference here can be zinc ions, lead ions, and aluminum ions may be present because you are not sure which one actually is present with the observation you got from your chemical test. So we have to continue to the B. Pour a little R5 solution in a test tubes. Add ammonia solution in until in excess. So for this one, we have to use the flow chart for the ammonia test. So again, if you add in a little bit a few drops of ammonia solution it will form the white precipitate so white precipitate form and then you found out that it dissolve in excess ammonia so meaning that here, there is only one ions that will dissolve in the excess ammonia. So you have to put in your inference, zinc ions is confirmed present in the R5 solution. Next. The chemical test 2 is to test the anions in the R5 solutions. The instruction here, pour a little R5 solution into test tubes. Add dilute hydrochloric acid into the test tube slowly until no further change occur. Then add 2 cubic centimeter of barium chloride solution. So after you have done the chemical test here, your observation is white precipitate 
is form. So once you get this observation, you will directly know your inference here is the sulfate ions is present. Based on the chemical test 1 and 2, identify the R5. So just now we have identified the cations is a zinc, and ions is a sulfate. So the R5 is zinc sulfate.